Welcome to Prayer and Coffee on this Sunday morning. Jesus described the devil as a murderer from the beginning who does not stand in a truth because there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks of his own character, for he is a liar and the father of lies. And Jesus said that the devil would try to deceive, if possible, even the elect. There is a deceiving lie that is being told to the remnant church that has been faithfully praying for revival. And it goes like this. The best days of the church are behind you. The times are too hard. The task is too great. And we are too small. But the truth is, it shall come to pass in the last days, says God, that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions. Your old men shall dream dreams. God said, I have made you to hear new things from this time, even hidden things, and you did not know them. They are created for now and not from the beginning. Signs and wonders are being restored to the local church now. We will see miracles of healing, miraculous salvations, and we will see prodigals returning home to Father's house. Believe it. Let's pray. Jesus, I thank you for the church, the body of Christ, your ecclesia, that you are blessing and restoring for right now. Lord, thank you for pouring out your spirit on your faithful church, on sons and daughters, young and old, for right now. Lord, let us see three generations working together in your church, hand in hand, in worship and in prayer and in bringing in the last great harvest. Lord Jesus, as we gather today at Community Haven and in every faithful local church, fill our gatherings with your presence. Let there be joy and rejoicing in the name of Jesus, our Savior and Lord. Amen.